Welcome Raiders to another Raid Shadow Legends video and in this one we're going to look deeper into the 3.30. Now we already did a video on this but I'm going to go more into the fitting room and stuff like that. Uh, so it just like got announced and released so I want to go through it. No, we're not going <laughs> to. Someone's live streaming on Twitch. You know what? I'm curious. Scratch. Okay, okay. This update brings a new feature to the fitting room together with changes to some existing features and quality of life improvements. Here's all you need to know about this update. Okay, we already know what it is, but let's... Mm, yep, that's what I figured. When fitting room is activated, you'll be able to see, okay? Pretty much. Tag team... Re okay, tag team rewards and t tag team balance. Now, I might go deeper into tag team arena, like my... <sighs> analysis or things that I can think of that would actually help improve Tag Team Arena for someone who came in through the uh, creator program through that type of content um, it's not something that people like to do I mean there's there's a reason why there's no like one mainstream person to go to who can be like hey I can help you no I get it why Plarium did it I guess it was a solution to the Legos and the dupe situations that people had, they're like, hey, we can use your dupes here. At least they have a little bit more usage, which is true, but that's not really a full solution. I mean, <laughs> what do you do if you have five Fushans? <laughs> like, come on, I'm just saying. Um, also, you have to book those champions. So I have some, some insights on, on in terms of like Legos and Epics and stuff like that, but in terms of tag team, man, even I just lost interest in it. I don't do it as much. Like, and now with this new patch, <laughs> talk about force feeding you to do it, huh? It's crazy. Uh, we've decreased the number of gold bars for a weekly tier replacement in each tier. <laughs> but we've also increased the number of gold bars for you to win. Okay? So incenting advisors to play, like to keep, to do it a lot more. We've also added a minimum battle limit to be eligible. Wow, so not only did you do this, you also did this. Thank you, Plarium. And by thank you, it's opposite day. From now on, you need to fight in an at least Tech Team Arena series each week to be able to get your weekly. I mean, I pretty much did like, what? We do five a day if you want that extra potion, the energy pot. But I was doing like... I honestly was doing like maybe one or two I wasn't even doing it. or some days I would skip <laughs> so this is not gonna affect me that much because I was doing almost 10 a week anyways at least I didn't say 10 a day if they said 10 a day whoo that would anger a lot of people um bizarre additions we've added charms to all tiers nice uh, avatars to bronze and silver tiers that should have been there from the date from the get-go uh, champion fragments of the two non-fusible rare void. I saw them when I logged in today. Huntress and Bloodhorn to get Broadma. <laughs> I'm surprised it took this long, but yes, thank you. We needed that. Champion and battle fixes. Okay, so basically a lot of bugs and stuff. Champions will no longer move when under freeze debuffs placed by Tormund. Yep. Fix an error that occurred when Bellinor activated. Okay. Taurus's and Toxus Nova skill, including the Senate version, not, now works correctly with Gurptuck. Ooh, on the same team. Ooh, okay, okay. Change the icons of Faceless, Lightning, and Ice. Okay, thanks. Ursula the Mourner now currently revives all allies with her Requiem skill. I mean, that's the whole point, right? You want her to... <laughs> Dang. Spiderlings no longer spawn on top of each other in the Spider's Den. Wow, okay. Fix the stun debuff animation if it's placed directly after sleep. Huh. Fix how Nogar the Headhunter... Nog... Dar the Headhunter is displayed in collection when reviewed. True. There is a bug that I have, honestly. Every time I go here, it keeps telling me... Wait, my index? Oh, it stopped telling me. It took a week. It took a whole week. It took a whole week, but every time it kept telling me... It's like, you have this champion. King Garog, you have this champion. I'm like, bro, I've clicked on it like nine, ten times. I mean, I already geared this champion. I'm about to do a guide on Stop. It's finally gone. It's finally gone after this patch. So that should have been there too. Fix no <laughs> King Garog. <laughs> oh, it was killing me. Fix an error that occurred when attempting to replay a battle on stage 20 at this point, placing freeze. Div oh, okay. 
Clan boss is now calculated correctly if a battle starts. Okay. Oh, dang. Uh, we'd also like to clarify the mechanics of Tormund's Wintry Win passive skill. If Tormund places his freeze debuff on a champion while they're in the process of placing a chain of multiple buffs, any subsequent... Oh, you guys probably can't see that. I just realized. I'll put it a little bit bigger. Any subsequent buffs after the freeze won't be placed as the champion will be frozen. Huh, okay. Game experience enhance, uh, enhancements. Charm slots in the forge now show the number of charms for each type you have available. Nice. Other Minage Forge improvements. Is this, let me ask a question, is this a Forge improvement? Now I got this red gigantic thing, and we all know that like red things, you want to click on them. You're like, oh, you know, <laughs> I got to do, what's wrong here? Okay, I got gear, I got this. <laughs> but now I got to see this, now I'm going to, uh, it's kind of like forcing me to like want to go to the Forge now. And actually, you know, pull all my like Swift Parry, even though I don't want to, I'm kind of like, I did, I did a video where I did like a lot of, I think it was Perception or, or I did some, oh no, I did Fatal, right? I went crazy on Fatal because I didn't have that many. I've actually been grinding uh, normal and a little bit of hard as well every month now and I'm finally getting a lot more gear. I can, I mean, 15 is not a lot, 5, 6 star, but hey, it's way better than I had before. I think I had like 10 or was it 10, 15 last time? Maybe, possibly. Uh, got so much resilience. I might just go ham, just, just do it for, for silver. Might just go crazy for that. But uh, yeah, pretty much uh, little minor things here and there. Uh, the purchase clan boss keys is the one that like really blew my mind. I'm like, finally? Finally? <laughs> you have any classic arena tokens in your inbox? You can now use them directly from the arena. Yes, you don't have to keep, you don't have to go back and then, oh, thank God. Boss's HP is now correctly shows the amount of loss HP. Okay, decreasing them. All right, cool. <laughs> now correctly? Fixed minor errors that occur when selling and upgrading artifacts. Oh man, I always got this error. Always got this error. If you super quickly clicked on a champion, clicked on this gear, and then, see, if I go like this, like if you do it too fast, like you're instantly clicking remove. And I'm like, no, I don't want to click remove. I want to click upgrade. But I'm so fast, sometimes I, go, I, go, I would go left, boom, and click upgrade, it actually clicks to remove. And I've removed gear that way. Oh, it's annoying. So hopefully that's that'll be fixed. Um, added sound effects for destroying artifacts and accessories. Added the ability to go back to the bastion directly from the battle limit reached error. Hmm, cool. We'll be adding a whole bunch of new champions, of course, which I already did a video on. That was a long video, by the way. I know, sorry about that. It was like an hour and twelve minutes, I think. But there's a lot of stuff coming. <laughs> the first person's like a gold three v three avatar being added, or are my one hundred k gold bars getting yeeted? <laughs> Oh man, so yeah, let's look at the fitting room. I'm curious. I, I have a new champion that I've been working on. Uh, well, a lot of champions actually. I have Venus on the way. I got King Garag on the way. I got your boy Virgum Car actually working for me. I'm only f almost fully. I just gotta get mastered, which I have the gems to do it right now. I probably I'm probably lazy. I could probably I have a lot of energy. I could probably do it, but uh, I don't want to waste my energy on that. <laughs> Honestly, don't just want to sit doing Minotaur, man. I honestly haven't done like a Minotaur grind in almost like seven months. It's been a long time. For ten dollars, you could just instantly master two champions and you know maybe some energy refills here and there. So, ooh, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I know it's like efficiency. Like you're wasting a lot of gems. I know technically you're wasting like what one seventy. Was it 150? I forget how much. That adds up, right? 150 times six months. Ooh. Okay. Okay. That's like a free. That's a whole free uh, <laughs> champion. But I don't know, man. Just can't do it. So let's 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 choose a champion that I haven't. Uh, I did a, a. Did I do a guide? No, I didn't do a guide on her. I don't know. Did I? I don't remember. Oh, man, I I've been so out of the like loop. I've been so tired in my whole leg situation, having to stand up. Oh, thanks, battle. Green just makes me like weirdly blend in. You see that? All right, so let's choose. Let's just choose Venus. Uh, no, actually, someone who I, she's already geared. Like someone who needs to get geared. Actually, I haven't done Lugan in a while. Or uh, who needs to get geared? Everyone's pretty much geared, right? This is actually not bad. I mean, he needs a hundred percent crit with crit his. I, um, it's weird. It's like, what is he? What is he trying to focus on? Yeah, maybe this, maybe this might be the the route. 
I guess I was doing this because I was my undead factions. Um. Huh. I don't know. Wurlum kind of just seems weird right now. Like he's okay, but he's yeah. Let's just go. Let's go with Wurlum. He seems weird right now. Like he's got HP on. Like what? Let's go with this. So we're gonna filter fitting room, and you. I guess it shows like these. What is it, like hangers? Yeah, they look like hangers. And then... Oh, you can... Okay, so you you click on the gear and then you click try on. And so, so the stats changed. Okay, okay, so let's try an actual good set. Um, Let's go weapon first. Let's see, just a quick, just a quick build, just quick build, just real quick. We have no choice but to go to the attack. Um, let's go with, uh, so Wurlum's gonna need, um, in this state, he has two less, so we need more crit. Uh, we're gonna need, um, can't do that. He already has a decent amount of accuracy, I don't think he needs any more, be I mean, he should be alright. 253 though, it's like, ah, uh, um, I feel like speed's important, he's going a little slow. Um, a, b -b 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 I guess HP percentage is really good as well. And then maybe crit damage or ack? Do I have a piece like that? Okay, of course. My tyrant has it. And then of course, uh, um, cyc cyclone lady. <laughs> Kandra. <laughs> Kandra the cyclone. Uh, so she has pretty good stuff here too, yeah. Mm. That would be not uh, not uh, not that bad of a set on him. I mean, he's not he's not an HP champion, but let's take off the axe, see what we get any more like stuff that we could put on him that would be pretty cool. Oh my gosh! Um, yikes! <laughs> Yo, wait, 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 wait. Oh, okay, I gave it to him because he has attack percentage on it. Mm. Man, if that didn't roll, if I rolled crit or HP, I would have went. Yeesh. Let me let me see if I do this instead. <laughs> Immunity. I mean, you would think like stalwart, right? <sighs> of course. This one has more crit and one less accuracy. So, it has more. Sp Ah, Jesus. <laughs> Mother of God. At this rate, I'm about to put curing on this man for no reason. Yikes. What do we do? Alright. I'm just gonna... Tr I'm gonna just try something real quick. See what gear I can find. Just getting the, just by the substats, seeing what we can find real quick. Um, definitely that's a good piece right there. We want him to. <sighs> Yikes! <laughs> Is this why I never geared this man? Because like I'm in a situation where it's like, what do I do? <laughs> but uh, yeah, let, let's just let's just do all the pieces. Let's just let's just try it all on. Oh, I can try. Can I try on other people's gear? Oh, that's pretty cool. You can try other ge champions' gear. That's that's pretty cool. I like that. Uh, let's go with the hand, the gloves. Do I have any gloves around here? Yikes! Okay, we got boots. Let's try on the boots. All right, and then a chess piece would be nice. Everybody's using a chess piece. Wait, I don't need it on Basilisk. Oh, but we don't need that. Oh, I don't need that either. Oh, okay, we'll just try out Martyrs. So uh, here we can tell if I would have just put on totally random gear. We gained a significant amount of attack, which is weird. Uh, that's probably a bit off the stats of the, of the equipment. Like, see, that, that's probably why. There you go. That's the reason why. Um, but you can kind of see how things are going up and down. And then it tells you the amount that it's going to cost to to actually, I guess, 
to take off all that, which makes sense because each uh, piece of gear that you equip on usually is like fifty to a hundred thousand, uh, depending on the stars. So it's telling me six hundred thousand in total. So yeah, that's uh, still a lot because <laughs> we haven't even put the accessories on. <laughs> If we just put random accessories on real quick. Look at that cost, man. Yikes. Almost a milli. 800,000. And this is not even like all legendary gear. It's just based off the stars. and <laughs> Crazy. 800,000. Imagine if someone's like, yeah, I want this. And then afterwards you're like, <laughs> I changed my mind. Can I get a redo? Nope. You already pressed the button. You had the chance at the reading room. You had everything. It's gone. But I do like being able to see this now. Because before I was doing a lot of math in my head or writing it down. and like, So it is nice to, to do this. You know, like it's really cool. Um, and I like how they didn't make it like red or green. Like it's usually red or green beforehand when you're not doing the fitting room. But now you just show different stats. So this was clearly here I'm getting a lot of crit. And I'm getting somehow more accuracy. Um, and we're losing so much crit damage, so much speed, so much <laughs> defense. So gaining attack and losing HP. So with just random stuff, you don't want to just click on random stuff like good six-star gear. You want to make sure that you're equipping them right piece by piece. Um, and it just goes to show you that this random two, two piece sets together with the stats that he has is pretty insane. Um, I think I know why, because I was using Lanicus, who gives the... The extra 30% crit, so he'd be 90, wait, what was he at? Yeah, so <laughs> he'd be 104, which would be more than enough to use, like, to have 100% crit rate, and then with the crit damage, you know, being able to scale off 182 and 3,000. I mean, it's, he needs more defense, of course. For a defensive champion, you'd want, like, 4 to 5k with at least 200% with two. I would say 240 to 245 to 250, depending on where you're at in the game. But yeah, that's what I would do. Like the fitting, I, I need to put more work into the fitting room. I'll probably do like more when I'm doing champion guides. I can show you guys more. Like, hey, look, I did this for the fitting room. Like, I could probably do that, but I don't want to waste more of your guys' time. I just wanted to show you what the updates are. Um, oh, that, I keep looking at that. But yeah, I'm, I'm thinking. I don't know who do you, who do, who do I do next. As a champion guy, I still haven't decided. I don't know if I should do Venus. I want to do Venus uh, or King Garag. I've been using him as well. Did, did I already do? I don't even remember. <laughs> I probably did. And then I do got to do Vergagar. So, so yeah. But I usually don't do champion guides until I fully book them. I just like to book champions. I like I like to fully book them to show the full potential. Um, I'll do like a champion like like first look. But I don't like to do guides until it's fully done. Unless it's like Pixnail. I might just do do it without the books because it's just nutty. Can we address this, by the way? Can we address this, Plarium? This is too many books. I mean, we have an epic champion that's coming real soon in this patch. 3.30 that I did a, a, a video on, pre the previous video before this. Talking about that champion, how many books they needed. Like, n ridiculous. Like, what? <laughs> I get it. It's epic books. But still... Like, what if someone pulls that? Like, a free-to-play free to play or, or, like, an early-to-mid-game player? What are they supposed to do with that champion? Like, same thing like this. Like, yikes. It's funny. I, I fused her. I don't regret it because she does help She, she does help uh, my faction wars. But I feel like I'm losing so much more because of not having books. So, anyways, that's that's what I feel about uh, this patch. I mean, the fitting room is a nice, a nice addition. The tag team stuff, um, well, sorry, the tag team arena stuff. Uh, so they changed. They you know they show you your series here. They reduced the gold bars, but increased your little gold bars that you get per win. Uh, they added the two champions, like I was saying, in the patch. They added avatar here. They added another avatar, but I already bought it. Literally, I was like, wait, what? It, it's so cheap of gold bars to get it. I had to get it. Literally, had to get it. So, you know, that's how it looks like. I'm not going to use it, though, because you, if, if, you, if you guys know me, I'm a Lissandra fanboy. I mean, <laughs> the the one thing I noticed, though, is I haven't gave my love to my Lissandra. I mean, she's still in 26,532 power. 
Okay? <laughs> That's so low. I was here like six months ago. Still same power. I have other champions that I'm just starting to gear now. And look at their power. Like double. Easily doubled. And they're not even fully booked. And Lissandra is. So it just goes to show you. This actually does affect the power of a champion, by the way. So it just... Oh my gosh. I don't know what to say. Um, the rewards are slightly better, I guess. Like in terms of giving people more stuff. You can get type charms, substat charm. I do think there's a little bit more incentive. But it's. I think that what they need to do is reduce the gold bar just a little bit. It's too much. It's honestly too much. Like... The amount of investment, the amount of time that you have to put in to tag team, it just doesn't seem worth. Like, honestly, there's a lot of things in this game that you need to worry about. Your gear, your energy, your gems, your champions, your books. I mean, this could have been a solution, right, to the whole book thing if you would reduce the books. And if, if instead of creating a new tower or all these new things with dupe system, just, re just make this the way to get books. Tag Team Arena. There you go. It makes you. It makes people play a mode that they don't want to play. And if you want to get a book, what would I reduce this to? Look, why three hundred for one like three brews? Why not? Why not be three rare skill tomes for a thousand? Why not be three epic skill tomes for ten thousand? I don't think thirteen does. I think that's, but you know what I'm saying? Like you could get more and incentivize people to play more. I have fifteen thousand. I could literally get. Three of these, you know, like, if it was 10,000, I could get three of these. Or if it was three for 13, I would get more from my, you know, my gold bars. I'm just, I'm just saying. Um, like, or they could do, like, times one rare, times two epic skill tome, like, times three legendary to, to incentivize getting up ranks. I'm going to go, I'm going to do a crazy, like, a bigger video actually breaking down, like, more. But those are just my thoughts. I don't know. Because at this rate, I don't even know what they're going to do with books. Um, at this point, you know, you see things like this, right? Which I logged on today, and I was like, man, I need books for my Venus. I don't have enough books because I've been booking so many champions. I mean, I booked Norog. I booked Martyr. I booked Alton. I, I had two different Moshaleds. Two different Moshaleds fully booked. Um, I had to book my Whirlim. I had to book... King, oh, King, I put some books into King Garag. I think four, five books. I had five books. I was hoping to at least reduce this skill to one down or, or this, but it all went crazy random. So, and then I put some, I got some books in her, you know, from doing Ultra Nightmare Clan Boss, but it's still not enough. And it's not enough. So, you come around, you see stuff like this, right? You come in the offers, you log in. The first thing you log in, you see something like this, and then you're like tempted. You're like, bruh. I don't want to spend a hundred dollars. <laughs> I mean, can I just can there be like a like you know how like there's like a daily gem pack, right? How you get daily gems? I wouldn't mind paying like a monthly book subscription. Like the first ten days is all rail skill tomes. The next ten days is all epics, and the next thirty days is all legendary skill tomes. Like I don't mind waiting thirty days for my books, and. I wouldn't mind if it was like that. You know, I know they're not going to do it like that. But what if it was like a five-day thing, a seven-day thing, and this was like a natural thing you could do once a month? You know, like, you could get money that way, and at the same time, people are getting their books. But if you want a free-to-play way to do it, then I think Tag Team the tag team Arena is the way, the way to do it. You know? I don't know. Or Tower, whatever you guys think. I just, the solution needs to be good, because I see stuff like this, and I'm just like, Ah, uh, it puts you in a situation where you're like, should I do it? But at the same time, I don't want to do it. I shouldn't be forced to do it. <laughs> you know, it's 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 kind of sad. Um, but but yeah, guys, thank you for watching this Raid Shadow Legends video. And I'm trying to feel better. I'm just kind of recovering from like sickness and a whole bunch of other stuff. My legs still, but um, yeah. It's been a it's been a long day. <laughs> been getting through a lot of stuff. Um, but yeah, I will work on the next video. Hopefully, I can get I can get enough books to finally. Actually, I'm probably just gonna do Vergen Car next because he's fully booked already, and I'm probably just gonna I'm just gonna master him now and just level his stuff up to 16, and we'll show you. We'll sh or maybe change his gear, make it maybe get even better gear now that I have the fitting room. So look out for that. 
I'll see you guys in the next Rachel Legends video. Raiders.